Hello everybody, we are live and ready to rock and roll. It is Wednesday night, doing a little bit of Nashkel Sven Zone homebrew. Everybody say hi. 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 Awesome, we have sound, we have cameras. Ooh, we even have Nick on camera, awesome. Um, we do not have Nick on sound yet, but that's all right. We'll get there. He was here, so I know it's possible. Um, all righty. So last week was a pretty busy week. Uh, I know I summarized things very succinctly for the message of the day. Let me pop open the map again so you guys can be remembered what happened. Um, but uh oh tusk probably isn't released that's probably why he hasn't grabbed him i released him um i i, I started it and then I released him me, fiend. Yeah, but uh you don't have the power there it is all right so nick if you can hear us go ahead and you can now grab him sorry i i did figure it out eventually um so <laughs> kithri <laughs> Stole the spotlight for some of the session last week. Um, Genesis, you two have our close friend. Do you want to explain what happened last week with Kithri? Do you remember? I remember some of it, but I don't remember specifics. I know that uh, while we were taking our uh, rest, uh, Kithri went in to talk to the dragon that uh we had encountered that was like okay well just leave me alone and i'll go back to my home or whatever uh and so kithri went in and uh talked to her for a while and gave her a ring of sleep if i remember correctly which is a uh sven only homebrew item um so Kithri gave her that as a tribute, and in return, uh, the dragon gave her, I think, like, advantage on knowledge checks about dragons, something like that? Uh, that's That's what I remember. Awesome. Okay. Um, so yes, uh, she d they did have a bit of a conversation, um, there was some tense moments in there and stuff, but... Uh, Kithri survived and um, came away with it, a better halfling because of it. Uh, and then you guys decided to wander around some more um, and came into this room um, where beyond, behind the throne where the general was uh, and down the steps a little bit. Um, there was a the hallway splits and there's a Genesis went one way because the door, there was no door there. Was attracted by the books and the bookshelves. Yeah, she was like, ooh, information. I'm going to go in here. And everybody else is in the hallway, like, ooh, we hear voices. Be quiet. We're going to rush in. And Jen doesn't hear any of that shit. Yep. Um,. So she was in there looking around and stuff, and let's see, just a second here. But uh, Tusk opened up the door to the north, and do you guys remember what was in the door to the north? A uh, goblin, like, talking to a uh, crystal skull and said it was, like, his master or something. If I remember correctly, I think he was telling... 
the crystal skull that like the heroes are here or something like that save me the heroes are here that is correct they were t he was talking to a crystal skull and uh when you guys came in, I'm looking for the... There it is. Master, Master, the heroes have killed the general. And, ah, they're here, Master, save me. Um, and that is where we left it. Um, any questions, any comments before we get moving again? Uh, let's find out what's... Get in a little uh, check with... A Nixter looks like he just replaced his new headset. So let's see if he can hear us. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. Uh, unfortunately, I'm having to go back to my old setup because there is some issue with my current, my new headphones or something. So I, it's annoying. Very well. So, anyways, something about a goblin talking to a skull. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, is there anything anybody else, anything any of you guys wanted to add, or any questions? No, nope. I don't think so. I can't think of anything. Believe I have the gist of it because I was listening. I just couldn't talk. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, uh, Jen, on the uh, table are a lot of books about Nashcal. Just a okay. little. That's that's what I that's what I wrote down. That there's a lot of books about Nashcal, like tourist guides and that kind of stuff. Okay. All right. So, um, if oh, the other thing we did seems like the other thing we did that I don't know that Tusk would remember is that we dragged the general unconscious back into the room where we have uh, with the with the soldier that was healing that we were trying to protect. So they're both in that room. General's tied up right now. And, uh, oh, and uh, again, oh, a, sorry. Fairly, a fairly confused guard is uh, just as likely to untie the general as anything else. So we're a little uh, concerned that maybe leaving them there for too long would be a bad idea. We're trying to finish our mission. And uh, Gimbal shoved one of the uh, rocks down his pants. You know, one of the rocks that uh, they use. Make sure you can't move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, he stuffed that down his pants. Or down the uh, general's pants. So um, right. if, if he comes to, he won't be able to do anything. That's his pants rip. But okay, good to know. Oh my god, are we that guy's sleep paralysis demons? Probably. <laughs> um, That's rough. Sven, you said that goblin was in the room above us on the map? Yeah, he's behind that desk, I think. Yeah, he's he in the chair. Have him on the he's in a chair above you. I'm adding him now. Okay. All right, so we don't have any other questions. Um, I have a question for you guys. Uh, <clears throat> as, a, as a little bit of an icebreaker. Um, what, if any, is your current morning routine? Uh, do you have one? Um, is there something you like to do every morning when you first get up? 
Uh, let's start with you, Kendrick. Um, I like to hit my snooze at least three times before actually getting up. Okay. I tend to postpone my actual leaving as long as possible. Um, and I will sometimes get up, get something to eat, and then go back to bed. Let digest before I go to work. <laughs> That's about it. All right, and what about you, uh, Mantha? By by now, you probably know, but I despise routines. I have ADHD. I can't stick to them, and I need things to be different in order to do them. The only thing that's uh, consistent about my morning, quote-unquote, morning routine is that sometime before noon, I try to eat something so I can take my meds, and that's that's the only consistent thing. All right. And what about you, Nick? Mm. Excuse me, sir. I just put a cookie in my mouth. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to this. Mm. Can't. <laughs> um, really, it's... Um, I roll out of bed, get ready, and go to school or work. <laughs> Don't really have much of a morning routine beyond that. <laughs> All right. I sleep as long as possible. <laughs> That's a mood. <laughs> so we're going to assume that at least some point, sometime throughout the day, maybe not when you guys first wake up, but deodorant is, is being applied at some point um, to so that you don't repel everybody around you. Um, what do you want to know? <laughs> That's right. Um, but then again, Nanya business. That's right, Nanya. Um, so, what about you? Uh, the hell, um, Logan. What about you? Uh, uh, I, yeah, I can. I I have a very good sleep schedule, so I sometimes wake up at. Nine, and sometimes I wake up at uh, three. So, uh, valid PM or AM? Uh, three uh, PM. Okay. Yeah, because he goes to bed <laughs> at three AM. Yeah. Uh, I usually don't get out of bed every day until like three. So, yeah, my life is very good right now. Totally. I basically just don't do mornings. Nice. All right. Um, <laughs> I am. I do not have a particular thing. Um, I do uh, before I. I have to set certain limits. Um, uh, while I am, as much a person who hates routine. Uh, most uh so like for example if i have to drive somewhere even though i've driven that to that place like dropping off people at work or going to a restaurant or movies or stuff that i go to probably a location i go to at least once a week if not a lot more than that i will rarely take the same route twice so in, in that aspect um, i do like a lot of variety when i eat things like that a lot of variety but there are certain things if they are important that i have to have in the same routine otherwise i forget or i have to set limits on myself so for example i will do my little bit of a um, bible study before i do any kind of gaming on my phone and that way if i go to start a game on my phone and i realize oh crap i haven't done that yet today it reminds me so that is pretty much my only routine I don't. I hit the snooze button once, and only once. Um, I don't get up before. I, I have to hit the snooze button, but um, and that's pretty much it for my routine. I don't really have a whole lot of routine. Um, it varies when I 
because I work from home, I don't have to get dressed right away. So there are days when I'm just in my pajamas working for the first hour or so. Uh, there are other days when I'll get fully dressed and showered before I even start work. So I am also very varied. And there are days when I'll eat at 4.30 in the morning. And there are other days until I'll wait till noon because I just get distracted or don't feel like eating. So I don't really have a routine at all. Um, so for a couple things I make sure I do so I don't forget. So like when I get dressed, I always make sure I do deodorant first, then I get dressed, that type of thing. So A day in the life of Sven. There you go. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, with that in mind, um, is there anything in particular that Tusk does every morning when he gets up? Um, generally check on his equipment, just make sure it's doing good and just a morning workout routine. Um, yeah, that's generally, if he has someone to spar with, which he unfortunately usually doesn't, (laughs) uh, he'll generally try and do like a morning spar as a part of that. But, uh, if not, he just, you know, main does a little maintenance and does a little, um, Work out if he has the time. Okay. What about Genesis? Hmm, I haven't really thought about this. Um, I think that Jen probably, like, maybe not exactly like as soon as she starts the day, but like sometime during the day, she takes the time to just, <laughs> I guess, meditate for like a period of time. But it's uh, less meditate and more like feel the energy around her of, you know, Sylvanas and that kind of stuff. Because I I think that's probably, you know, important to what she does to stay in tune with her god. But like, I don't think it's a specific as soon as I wake up sort of thing. Gotcha. Little commune time. That makes sense. Um, and what about Gimbal? Um, I was just reviews the, the spells that he's got. Kind of, I've been going, been going through the new spell book thing that I have too, and trying to understand it more, but that's kind of an early morning thing. And if I have, if, if I'm in a, a familiar place <coughs> and, and this when we're in the middle of things like this and we're in the resting times, I don't really have time to do that as much. Because we're, it's not really secluded. Right. Okay, so as a wizard, that makes sense. Crack, what does Crack do? As a sorcerer who doesn't have to think about his power, he just does it. I don't know. I don't have a morning routine. How do you think I can make up one for... (laughs) Valid. Crack is as chaotic as his magic can be. (laughs) Hey, he's not a wild magic sorcerer, okay? You know what this all reminded me of? I didn't take my meds today. I'm gonna go do that. (laughs) Probably the best for the best. (laughs) Alright, so... um... Nick is just connecting. Did you what? disconnect? Did I? That's I... weird. It... Nick. Boom. Okay. Anyway. Am I good? Uh, yeah, I still see Tusk, so yeah, it looks like you're still good. Um, all right, so let's rewind a little bit. Right. Um, what had happened was the door was locked, and... So uh, Kithri had unlocked the door, stepped back, uh, and they, everybody had moved to the side. I think Gimbal was the first one who listened to it and heard noises on, on the other side. Um, and uh, Kithri, but, yeah. And then you guys had moved back to allow Tusk to go first and open the door. Um, so you open the door and you see the... Um, 
um, goblin there. And he sort of uh, stands back and is holding it. And uh, you hear uh, coming from the skull. Silence, you sniveling dog. Hand this over. And so uh, the goblin sort of shakily starts walking towards you and, and uh, goes to hand you the, the skull, Tusk. As he would, he says forward, Tusk would also just take a step forward. Just... There you go. Token or not. Might then... I ask? So as soon as you touch it, um, it yeah. It then says, might I ask who has come to ruin our plans? You might. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> me and my friends of the Bronze Fangs, and who is this? Who are we are ruining plans of? Don't go too far, Goblin. Surely, you are not alone. Um, are you the tusk of the Nascal heroes? I suppose I am, though I... I guess I remember being called that one point or another. Ah, then this means you must have that... Blue lizard person with you, and the the tiny little thief, uh, and that uh, half elf who fancies herself a musician. Well, you seem to know a lot about us, but um, quite rude not to introduce yourself. Even I know that much. God, and don't call him. Sh- to ruin the surprise. And don't call him Shirley. Well, I look forward to meeting you. Hopefully you're around to um, talk. If you are here with Blue Snake, then that must mean General Gillian has failed at his job. Oh, you could say that. You may want to set me down. Set you down. And the skull what? shatters. <laughs> Tusk would have probably still been holding it. <laughs> <laughs> of course he would. Uh, give me a deck save. Alrighty. Um... Danger sense. Danger sand. <laughs> All right, so you take two points of damage. Ready? As the, the thing shatters in your hand um, and pouring out from it in this. Uh, vol- voluminous smoke and blackness and uh, smells uh, it burns your eyes uh, as your uh, this the scent um, evidence very acrid. It's almost like rotten milk uh, and and eggs that have gone bad. Uh, in addition to this, uh, this sulfur, um, almost like the lava um, that you guys were on when you were back in the the keep as this creature appears in front of you. Give me just a minute. Let me show you. Dang, the phone blew up and let out the magic smoke. Damn it. Gotta get a new one. Oh, shit. Ew, that's gross. I think Nick might know what this is. 
<laughs> Tuss does it. <laughs> Rip. How big God, is this? I'm so um, glad I don't ha- a even large have to attempt not to know it. Towers up um, about a foot and a half above Tusk as this thing f- forms. Uh, and we have initiative. Let me click this. Boom. There you go. All right, so um, we talked about this briefly last week or two weeks ago. I don't remember when it was. Um, do any of you feel like running Kithri? You are under no obligation to do so. Um, I can try. It's been a while yeah. since I've played a rogue. It's been a while. Been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would offer, but for some reason, my internet seems to be a bit spotty. So, um, probably best if someone else took over a second character, just in case. All right, let me uh, figure out what's going on with the stream here. That's my message mm-hmm. of the day. Okay, this map does not need to be this big because there's not a lot going on. Well, certainly feels like there's a lot going on. There we go. Boom. All right. So let me go ahead and release her. Unhappy. Release me. Let me go. Maybe. Too many moving parts. I've never used uh, Fancy Ground before. All right, here it is. Mm-hmm. Boom. All right, so she's released. You can grab her. Uh, <laughs> so starting off, um, I'm going to say where you are otherwise engaged. You hear an explosion tsh, um, of shattering glass from the other room. Gimbal. Mm. Oh, that thing's huge. <clears throat> Sorry? It's large, actually. <laughs> Considering my size, he looks huge. <laughs> um, All right, well, I'm just going to see target. <clears throat> Can't triple click. I was a little surprised by this one, but I'm going to basically yell out, God, are you the ugliest creature we have come across so far? And it doesn't do any good. Rip. He is. He's very self-confident. Apparently so. The little one sort of tilts its head. Just, and uh, sort of awkwardly reaches and pats himself. Oh, why, 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 thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, oh, three. Um, I'm gonna make a guess that Kithri would probably go up and stab this guy. Uh. So she's going to go up and stab him. That's 20. And she's going to try to stab him with her ice pick. Oh, I'm fu- I'm fucking dumb. I didn't roll the attack. I rolled the damage. I, I put I put the character sheet on the wrong side of the 
Okay, we're we're gonna we're going to roll to attack, and we'll see how that goes. Sorry. Hopefully, she actually hits. There we go. There we go. Okay, she got a twenty-eight. So, um. Sorry, oh, didn't hit. hit. Sorry. <laughs> right. Uh, remember, Kithri has the mobile feet, so she can move she without can the just hooking. Leave. Yeah. Okay, and I'm assuming because I already rolled damage, you didn't undo that. I don't need to. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I, I messed up on the order, but um... <laughs> is are we good on that front? Can K3 uh, nope out of there? Whatever K3 wants to do. Okay, cool. She's going to nope out of there. Uh-huh. You have moved uh, 20 feet. It's 30 now. Um, and her speed is 35, so she's staying there. You started in that square, didn't you? No, she started oh. on the other side of Gimbal. Okay. That's right, Tusk can step forward. Okay, I got you. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll move behind G Gimbal. Token, at least mine wasn't locked, so that's 10 feet of movement. Yeah, Kithri's wasn't locked either. I'm just now remembering. So keep in mind, okay. this is a narrow passageway. You have Tusk. Yes, this is How... taller than Tusk, but um, he, he is not. I have Spell design. Sniper, it's good. I mean, Kithri and Gimbal are both short, so there is that. Yeah. Uh, so, jeez. I guess I could cast haste on Tusk. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, yeah, I have sorcery points. Well, I don't... Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh... I guess that's it. I cast haste on Tusk. Why, thank you. And that is a uh, ranged spell, not touch. Yeah. Okay. All right. Genesis. So you hear the thing, you sort of turn a minute. It takes you a couple seconds to, to orient yourself. Um, you see Kithri run out. Crack come running in front of you. Waving his hands, blocking your sight. <laughs> okay. I should probably cast lightning. I should have cast a lightning bolt. That would have worked great. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Um Okay. Um can Jen see this thing? Does it does it look undead? Because it looks undead. Does she would she right, know if it's so undead? Let's take a let's do a couple rolls here. Um click. It don't look living. <laughs> <laughs> click. 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 All right. So, um, where is my hairbrush? All right, here it is. Let's see. You know. With those rolls, so you're not sure. Let's see. With your intelligence and stuff, uh, you heard something shatter, and this thing come pouring up out of the smoke. You were able to at least see that much that the smoke shows up, um, and when they had originally opened the door. 
sort of you could hear the goblin in the background so you know this thing wasn't here a moment ago so um you presume this thing was summoned somehow and it is not undead uh it, it is a fiend damn okay Well, in that case, um... Yeah, and that's pretty much all you know. You can presume it's not a good thing, although you guys just automatically attacked it, haven't, didn't try to reason with it, or talk to it, or even ask its name. I mean... I mean, I asked its name. If it's the same thing that I was talking to beforehand. <laughs> it did say me when it exploded, so very yeah. possible. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, um, you know, Jen's gonna try something, um, so she's gonna shove past everybody in front of her, <laughs> you know, because she uh, prefers to stab things anyway, um, she's going to shove past y'all, um, I don't know if... Going to the right or the left of Tusk? Uh, to the left. She kicks over the chair <laughs> when she moves there. Um, shove, kick... Pound, scoop by, <laughs> right? Gently move chair in. <laughs> she, she can't shove Tusk; he's too big. But she can <laughs> she can pretty easily push uh, push the, some of the other party members. Um, <laughs> um, Jen is going to try something. Uh. She's going to uh, try using Bestow Curse. Uh, so she's going to uh, reach out and try to, I guess, smack this thing. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> want to touch it for longer than she has to. But it is a touch spell, so she has to. Um, but she's going to smack this thing and try to use Bestow Curse on it. Yeah, hey, stop that ass. <laughs> no, no, why I can't find Ah, you guys found the uh, speech bubble. We've had the speech bubble before. It yeah, doesn't before. show up on hate on the telekinesis spell. I'm sorry. Well, at it, least it didn't. It may now. It didn't last. Oh week yeah, because uh, last week I didn't have it. Okay, I was using <laughs> the wrong. Uh, I was using an outdated version of it, so I had to get the new. New and improved one. Damn, it's all Sven's fault. I mean, what can we say? Mm -hmm. um, as for the effect, she's going to choose the one of... While cursed, the target must make a wisdom saving throughout the start of each of its turns. If it fails, it wastes action doing that turn doing nothing. Uh -huh. Should and I so stack gonna... slow on that? Oh my god. We'll see I how this goes won't. first. Um, I'm gonna target that and make it make the save. It failed. Nice. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Um, so I don't know which version you have. Does yours have a coding for that? It uh, it does. So if you would have, uh, keep that open and ready. Yeah. I would appreciate it. Hmm. Right, and so um, that's it. her turn. Okay. Go ahead and do the roll. <laughs> it does nothing. Y'all, I'm so good at magic. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm just scared from All Nick's right. reaction to it. <laughs> I'm scared from that. Tusk, it's your go. Um, 
Yeah, Tusk would like to rage. <laughs> um, rage, rage against the dying of the light. And I'm just going to make sure I turn this off. <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of imagining as all the stuff's going around, he just kind of looks just like, Pleasure to meet you, and then just tries to sink his axe into him. This, Tess is just assuming this is who he was talking to a moment ago. I love that for him. And doing his usual... Um, I thought you reckless. were going to say, I love that forehead. And I'm like, yeah, he does have a big one. <laughs> I mean... Reckless, great one. Master attack. Does manage to get hidden. Nice. Uh, second attack. It's unfortunately a miss. And then... Haste attack. Nice, another hit. Woo! <laughs> Nice. So yeah, he just kind of goes in and aided by um, Crex magic and manages to get two hits in on this, you know, very large creature. <laughs> All right, so uh, this thing shatters and you're coughing and eyes are burning from the smell. Genesis, as well as you're there this close into the room, it just reeks. Um, Gross. And Tusk, you're able to fight through it, and a couple of them just scrape across its skin, um, but you're able to come back and then slam into this thing a couple times. Mm -hmm. Goblin slides over a little bit, and... Uh, Going to uh, grab a javelin and throw it at Tusk. But you're able to knock it aside. <laughs> Thank you, Haste. It's a good spell. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Back on round two, Genesis. Now it is Genesis. This is his is, 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 is turn. Um, sorry, a uh, long action list. Um, 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 um. Jen is going to, uh, she's going to stab this thing. She, she, she's going to try to do a little bit of a pokey pokey action and hope that it works. <laughs> and it hits, and then she's going to roll again, see if she does crit damage. And that misses, so she does regular damage. Oof, min damage. Min damage. Uh, I'd like to say that she's, uh, she did min damage because she's a little distracted, because she's also going to cast Spiritual Weapon, which is not concentration. Uh, she's going to cast that at, uh, level four. So that it is, uh, Stronger. Okay. Uh, and it's going to be... Let's put it in the square to the left of the goblin. Maybe it'll intimidate him into uh, staying where he is. Okay. 
All right, so you stab out with your blade, slamming into it a couple times. Um, one of them actually bites into it a little bit, uh, doing some damage to it as you're trying to see behind it to bring into being your weapon. Are you finished? Uh, and then spiritual weapon is going to make an attack because I'm because uh, you can make one when it's cast. And I need two twenty siders from you, please. In chat or in the tower? Just straight in, in chat. All right, so your spiritual weapon connects, comes into being as the goblin sort of jerks, flinches away from it, and as it slams into the creature in front of it. And she was distracted for a good reason, because that did good damage. And that's her turn. All right, so um, goblin gets to go again. He's going to run around. And try to slash at Genesis. Okay, uh, she's going to use her reaction to insult him. All right, make sure you use Mark it off. Um, I'm reusing this one. I'm reusing it because I really like it. You're about to die young, but at least it means you won't have any time to disappoint your parents any further. And it takes a uh, six off of his attack roll. Which then still fucking hits. So, um, <laughs> you know. Alright, yep, 17 still hits. It's fine, guys. <laughs> But you maintain your concentration uh, as this being sort of stands there and go ahead and do your save. Yes, sir. All right, and it fails again. So, crack. Mm -hmm. Your okay. thunder's being taken away from you by Genesis. <laughs> huh? What? You are no longer the savior of the... Of the <laughs> making everything... I mean, he did use easy. haste, which is a good spell. Haste was a very good <laughs> spell, so... um. I guess uh, I should use lower level spells, because I have lots of low level spell slots. So I guess I use... Uh, chromatic orb. <laughs> You're going to have a minus five to hit. I have spell sniper. Um, it doubles the range. Uh, go ahead and hit the sheer. So this ignores a half cover and three quarters cover. And three quarters. All right, Zilia, so go for it. Woo! Eat. What and of you doing? course, lightning. All right. I hit. Pretty good damage roll. Resisted. Rude. That's right. crazy. Anything else? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, Tusk. 
I imagine Tusk would just kind of like mm. that you know showy entrance, and you aren't even putting up much of a fight so far. And he just goes in for a couple more attacks. <laughs> Has he attacked? Has he? No, this no, guy's done got to him so far. Jen cursed him before he could. So, if you think about it, in a way, we're just beating up on this random we're guy just that beating just up this in. Guy. In his own home. Um, second attack. Well, I mean, we were here Miss first, if you think about it. Hasted attack. Does hit. Nice. Um, yeah, I think that's, um, going to be it for my turn. I don't really have much of a bonus action, so I just kind of, um, again, go for a few attacks while noting that. All right, Kimball. There we go. Mm -hmm. So I will stretch my fingers out in a quick, intricate pattern and speak a couple of words and hit at him, shoot at him with a fray of frost. Mm -hmm. Woo. Wait, got him a little bit. And Kipri is oh. going to, uh, you know, step forward through time. That's 10 feet, but I don't want to, like, accidentally grab Tusk. So, um, she's going to step up to there, and then she's going to, uh, stab at the devourer. Oh, thank you, Dad. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? That's scary. She's gonna stab at it. <laughs> oh, I wrong character, but um, that's fine. What do you mean wrong character? Oh, wrong color dice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and it hits, so now she's gonna do some damage. Yes, only some. Just some. I mean, Tusk can do more than that in a single hit. Um, and I think once again she's gonna, you know, pop on back. All right, so you can move forward, slam at this thing. Uh, Tusk is raging next to you. Um, and you're having to duck and weave as he's just hacking at this thing. Correct. Okay. I mean. Since... Oh wait, sorry. I, I, I think I I hit next on Kithri after you already hit it. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, oh, it's Kithri's turn. I think. Wait, Sorry. no. So Mantha. She was at the top of the round, and I accidentally hit next. But she was uh, at the bottom and then the top. Next for me. Um, I think Kithri, like she's on her way back, and then she's like, "Oh wait, I see a good opening," and then like dashes forward again. Okay, if he's just gonna do the same thing, don't bother moving. There's no point. Okay. Yeah, she she's just gonna do the same thing. Group up and hit it till it dies. And I think she's just too distracted, uh, dodging around Tusk as he's <laughs> raging, and she heckin misses. <laughs> okay. Uh I'll try not lightning because that didn't work that well. Uh, I forgot to mark off spell slot last turn. Uh, yeah, I'll just do another chromatic orb, but I'll do a different and I color. Need, uh, three d twenties from you. From me? Yes. It's scary. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
I'll try acid damage this time. So you get a bonus. I think it's it already there. Coded. Yeah, it's coded. Okay. okay. Wasn't a very good damage roll, though. Oh, two ones. Oh, no. Sad. All right. Anything else? Uh, no. All right. So you're, you watch, and as you let go of this orb, you then use your tapping into the weave, and you slide and move the orb as it passes past Kruk, uh, Tusk and slams into this thing. Starts burning Tusk. With all the chaos going around him, he's probably adding a lot more to it with his um, reaching attack, which you know he's going to go at again. <laughs> nope. Unfortunately, that first one was a miss. Um, that one was also a miss, unfortunately. And so was that one. Oh, that is real unfortunate. I think I'm going to action yeah. surge and make more attacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You got um, this time. I'm gonna make two more attacks with my action surge. I'm just like imagining as I'm like as I have wailed on him while he's been kinda of dealing with this curse, he's kind of managed enough to um block some of them, but I'm able to get past his uh <laughs> guard there to um deal one hit at least. Nice. A crit. I love how uh, always has to get a crit in, us. in every I lo- fight. I love, I love also, fighting with him. Um, means I get one attack as more attack as a bonus action. <laughs> oh boy, chef's kiss! <laughs> this is beautiful. Which is also a miss, unfortunately. But I do get two hits in out of um, six. One of which was a nice crit. That is a nice crit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else? So I'm like just imagining um, as I'm like, he's fighting his curse, he manages to fight enough to just block a, his barrage of attacks until I'm able to like knock his guard out of the way with one hit and then like just um, get a really deep out, just like right up the middle, right between it's like rib cage, the viewing of whatever it calls blood. <laughs> but that is it, that is everything I could do. <laughs> All right, Jesus. I think I think Jen is just worried about being uh distracted by the goblin uh because she does have to keep concentration and so far this thing doesn't seem like it's the wisest ever. Uh it seems like the rest of the party has it handled. So she's going to uh take her attention off of the devourer for a minute and uh stab at the goblin. As a hit. Ah, oh, sad. Normal damage? Weird. And, uh, just because she's gonna use her, uh, bonus action to, uh, I guess move the, uh, spiritual weapon to, uh, attack the goblin as well. Ooh, I can move it, guys! Didn't realize I could do that. And that's gonna hit him. And Jen says, Stand down! I I assume you probably know what's good for you. Stand down. Drop your weapons. I, I will repeat my previous section to the successful last time. And just shoot an enormous target in the middle of the room with my ray of frost. Nice. 
Not as effective as I hope, but it's still hitting him. All right, um, you're going to have a... You... Oh, sorry, I already hit it. <laughs> uh, next turn, Gimbal, you're going to have a minus two. You should have had a minus two all along, but I didn't notice where you were. And I, with uh, that thing being as big as he is? Yeah, with Kithri and Tusk both blocking your view, uh, Tusk takes up half the most of the sp space in the doorway. And you have to yeah, no, but the height of the thing... Down. Is it just super fat? It's a large creature, though, too, right? It is, but again, you're. Standing I should be able to shoot right over their heads. You're standing. <laughs> 50, you can't. You're short yourself, and you're 15 feet away from it, with two creatures in front of you, <laughs> including Tusk. So he is going to do this. I didn't think. I thought this spell, a spell, a ranged spell attack, didn't have to worry about that. No, that's. I thought it was only does. like an actual it's shooting save. Correct. Save does spell not. So if you do like us, uh, or has to make a save, then it, you, it does not. Correct doesn't have mm -hmm. to worry about it because he has the spell sniper feat, which ignores um, cover for range spell attacks. Right. Well, it's not cover that's involved here. All right, and so go ahead and do the spell. Uh, what's did, the same with you? Did the uh oh sorry targeted the wrong person. Oh sure, very. <laughs> oh, it, it saved anyway. Okay, good. It it, it made it save. Did uh the goblin not attack? He took the dodge action. Uh -huh. What is the um? When does it say it? It makes the save. Uh, at the beginning of its turn. Okay. Actually, does that spell go away when he saves, or will it activate yeah. again on his next turn? It activates again on his next turn. It's activated for the duration of the spell for a minute. We are just turn. lucky as of right now that uh, it has failed most of its saves. And you're positive about that? Ooh, and about... Honey Badger is uh, helping you guys, giving the uh, little baddie a little hindrance. Oh, so on look his at next him. roll when he has to roll. I threw a uh, bestow curse in the chat again, but if you look at the uh, first paragraph, uh, wisdom saving throw or become cursed for the duration of the spell. And I have option three, I think. Uh, yeah, option three. So it's just for that turn that it is able to do stuff or not do stuff. So the little okay. hindrance is a minus two if it next time it makes a roll. Unfortunately right now it's not going to make a roll. Sayad. Where are these still be making a roll on its next turn if you still that spell right, still yeah, so it's sort of you see the little one, uh, the big one is sort of blocking Tusk and trying to uh stop this barrage of damage that's happening. The little one raises its little head and screams as this vortex appears around it. Um, oh no. Uh, Jen's gonna use her inspiration. I would like to re-roll that. Okay, give me a minute. G3 also failed her save. But she wasn't here, so... Uh, yeah, she wasn't here, she, so I can't do anything I just, for her. Yeah, no. 
Yes, ignore me. <laughs> if only she got a one. There you go. So glad I made Khan as high as I did. Alright, so um, you will save. I'll just have to retroactively put the uh, damage remove, put the damage back. Okay. Why did I roll? That's scary. Oof. Oh yeah, concentration. Oof. Uh oh, that hurt. Alright, so Genesis, you get back twenty five hit points. There you go. Mm. Would the concentration mm. check for her be it successful? Be... No, she doesn't make a, a, a constitution concentration. Concentrate, uh, but she has the I the, have the curse. The curse at the moment. Right, and and so that's why you had to make a con. I don't understand the question. She still had to make. A concentration uh, she save, failed she it. Still took damage. But the yeah, but it's harder the higher damage now. DC is twenty five. But the DC for mine was 12. Because she took the damage and so you had to remove the damage, yeah. Yep, alright, so, yeah, so you would not have failed your save. Okay, I'm going to uh, reapply the effect on him then. So this is round 5, so it still only has... It has 5 rounds left. Instead of ten. What well, has actually come in fairly clutch if this is why it's on its turn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and with that, all right. So it was a total of. Oof. Oof. And, um, sorry, I'm, I remember Kithri having something that can let her take less damage, but I don't know what it was. For deck saves. Yeah, that's a concentration, constitution save. Ah. Doesn't she have, um, another ability that allows her to take just half damage on a hit, but that might just be if someone yeah, attacks that's with the a deck weapon. save we're talking about. Well, that's... like, there's um, evasion, but then there's also, I think, uncanny dodge. Oh, let me look. Um, it might not apply. I just remember there was a, just another damage thing for her um, abilities. It looks like uncanny dodge is for attacks. So, I think okay, this is so this one. Right, because, well, that was a save. Yeah, okay, I wouldn't apply. Alright, top of the next round. Tusk. <laughs> uh, Tusk, I oh, imagine wait, sorry, is, um... sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm looking at her stuff. Uh, she has a an ability called Uncanny Save. Uh, and it says when you are required to make a saving throw other than, the, than a dexterity saving throw, you can choose to use your dexterity saving throw instead. Sorry. Um... <laughs> Can I try doing that for Kithri? Oh my gosh, my fantasy ground is so frozen. Her, dext her dexterity modifier is what? What's her oh constitution? Gosh. I mean, dexterity save on her I, front page. I'm sorry, my fantasy grounds is frozen. Uh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I can't check. All right, so her dex is plus nine. Her con is plus two. So she has plus seven. All right, is that something that you, it's a certain number of uses? It looks like it's, uh, once you use this feature, you cannot use it again until you finish a long rest. So yeah, it's a one once per day. All right, do you remember what it was called? Uncanny save. It's uh, in her rogue, rogue features. It's at the very bottom. It's got a little tick mark. Yep. So she would get back 25 hit points. 
Anybody oh, else? Any other cheater faces going on? <laughs> I think it's my mouse that's dead. I don't think my fantasy grounds is frozen. Uh, I'm gonna go get batteries for that, so I'll be back in a minute. Uh, that's all. That's all. We're good. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, then I'm going to take my turn. Um, going once, going twice, <laughs> gone. Um, Tuss is probably actually probably uh, smiles a little bit at you know, this thing, creature, uh, a fi- uh, you know, attacking us back, and it's like, that's ah, more like it, and then goes in for another brush of attacks. Probably not fully realize the extent of the damage behind him. <laughs> to his party mates. <laughs> nah, dang it, that's a miss. Um, that's a hit, nice. So, apply that damage. Um, and then, uh, haste attack, which is also hit. Nice. Um, okay. And then I am uh, for his, uh, bonus action, I'm going to use a uh, second wind and heal a little bit. Oh, oh well, that's a little boring at all. It was a, it was a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, no, he just keeps going at it. All right, uh, go yeah, you do. Um, let me do this. Hold on a second. I wrote a two, I think. Unless that changed. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fine. I was going to do something else, but that's what works too. I'll just give you back nine. Only down nine hit points anyway. We worried about. All right. Well, I mean, it's. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It only no. heals a little bit, so I had you know was in range to where it would have felt work felt worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh sorry. Now that my mouse was working, it was my mouse, actually. And I just assumed that fantasy grounds was frozen. But seeing you check the box was like, nope. No, it's <laughs> something else. I'm like, I can see the box checking. What the fuck? Um and the uh stuff for Kith Reads. Uh, dodge stuff works, right? She She's good on that front? Yes. Okay, wanted to check. Um, so now, uh, now that Jen, uh, since the goblin seemed to listen to her, uh, she's going to uh, focus her attention back on the devourer and try to stab it. <laughs> All right, and Gimbal, go ahead and give me a 1d8, please. She hits with crit damage. Wow. That's... Sorry, I grabbed the wrong thing, but... There we go. Did crit damage anyway, I guess, so getting a crit doesn't change anything. Um, and she stabs at that, and then her, her spiritual weapon is going to make a whack. Make a whack attack. Alright, so as you go to stab into this thing um, with your critical attack, um, or, I mean. Shik, Throws himself in front of your blade. Bruh. Taking the damage himself. Bruh. Two hit points. I told him to stand down, but. <laughs> and the a, spiritual. A noble Oops. sacrifice. Um, so, <laughs> for Honey Badger. Um, g- healed Gimbal, so he rolled a 1, but it's a 1d8 plus 5, so he gets 6 hit points back. Woo! So, um, Honey Badger helping you guys out a little bit in the chat. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, and uh, 
So this guy dodges out in front of her blade, uh, but on the other side of him, uh, the spiritual weapon uh, goes for a hit itself. And it does. And it does some diabling. All right, anything else? Nope. Um, All right, well, sadly, it does not get back its power. Go ahead and roll for its uh, wisdom save. Uh, doesn't it also have, uh, because of Honey Badger Sven, doesn't it have a little hindrance as well? It does. Uh, do I need to do anything on my end? Nope. Or is it I've on your end? Awesome. Rude. Uh, How dare it? How dare it? So, oh, you can't see it from on your end. All right, so it does say on my end, it shows <laughs> minus two. Um, but it's still got 17. Dang, okay. On its save. Whoa. We trust you. That's fair, that's so, fair. Well, I mean, no, you can see the save 17. I'm just saying. Yeah, I was yeah. yeah we trust you applied it. <laughs> All right, so let's. I want to just jump back real quick. Let's get rid of this check mark. There we go. All right, well, sadly, it can't do its special attack again. So it will have to make. Um, do a little bit of claw action. Ah, the claw. And it slams into Genesis. As it uh, tears Ouch. across her shoulder. Um, Jen's gonna insult it. <laughs> okay, I'll make I... off a use of it. At the at this point, keeping concentration is a good idea. It's a very good idea. Um... <laughs> <laughs> she says, "If you were any worse, you'd be doing the job That's for a... us." Uh... You guys know what movie that's from? Yes. The uh, Toy Story. Toy the, Story. The reference. Really? Uh, um, no, your guys are thinking, The Claw, The Claw, The Claw. <laughs> no, I'm no, the, the okay, Claw so is from The one in Liar, Toy Story Liar. was a reference to something yes. else. Okay. okay. Uh, well, anyway. well, we're indirectly making a reference. So, um, so it's a 12 to hit eight. her, which does not hit. Uh, we'll see. There we go. So now, Her AC is 17. It's <laughs> now it's a miss. All right, as he follows up with his second claw. Come on, man. Don't do me dirty like this. Uh, it does her uh -huh. dirty, but the first one didn't hit. She couldn't mm -hmm. do shit about this one. <laughs> Even you still had. All yeah. right. Um, and the little face is... Ooh, this might sting a little bit. <laughs> Heckin' rude. Oh, that's so a lot of dice. Ones. So many ones. It's a lot of dice. We don't see we don't see what you rolled just <laughs> that it hit me. Well, I'll say this: none of them were more than half. They were <laughs> less than half of what they could have rolled. Good. Three runs. Bruh. Three ones. Two twos. Um, it Oof. didn't automatically anyway. have her roll a concentration thing. Huh. I don't know why. Just do a... I actually right, don't see so, the effect um... on. Hmm. It was yeah, it's not to on him. On. So go ahead and put it put it back on him. And okay, I put it back on him after I last will... time. I will. Do this. Just... Alright, so you did that. It is. Stop it. Boom. That's a success. Woo! Woot! 
All right. So, yeah. So, this thing claws into you, and you feel not only the slashing as it, the claws rake your skin, but the skin, uh, the wounds immediately start to fester uh, and and turn bright red. All the skin around it turns bright red almost immediately. Crick? Uh... Yeah, I think I'll still just... Uh, should I do a stronger... I don't really have... I could just upcast, <laughs> I guess. But... I guess I could try a level... 2 chromatic orb. Okay. Yeah. Pretty oh, good damage. Uh, it's average. All right. So once again, the acid, as you magically control, dodging and weaving through everybody and slamming into this thing. Give me a twenty sider. All right. Anything else? No, I'm being pretty boring. All right, Kimball. Hey, boring is still effective. After getting struck with whatever the hell devourer wiped my life essence out with, I suddenly mm-hmm. felt like there was an outside presence filling with my strength, and I gained a level of confidence, and I decided to use a spell. So I will target magic missile, and I will upcast this to my pack magic, even though I, for whatever reason, feel like that the presence was not my normal patron. (laughs) (laughs) Dun, dun, dun. And I will upcast uh, magic missile to the pack three. Okay. And I don't remember how to do this. So, first of all, you have to answer the first question. Magic missile depend, uh, per. Oh, I'm doing them all individually. Yeah. So, but I, I always do them in. Okay. So but... then, just click one so time. Just to click the damage. Three. One more dart for each above first. So it's a total of five, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So. All right. So, what does it look like? Um. It is, uh, yeah, glowing darts start flying out of my hands, and uh, they uh, five of them just fly out of my hands and strike them, strike the devourer at various points of its body, seeking out weaknesses. Nice, and uh, you rolled really well, um, more than half on all of them. Nice job. All right, anything else? That will be it. Get three. And I do a little, little flex. <laughs> Feeling strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, Kithri's gonna, you know, dash forward and do the uh, same thing that she did before. And Sven's okay. like, "Stop! Don't, don't worry about moving. If you're just gonna move back, so she's not gonna move, but she is doing it." Dash forward, dash back, dash forward, dash back. Gotta switch over my dice. Okay, she's gonna stab it with her ice pick. And she does successfully stab. That's some good, good damage. Oh, yeah. So with that, it is enough to take this thing down. Despite its healing properties and such, you guys are able to attack, attack, uh, do enough damage. Um, Only had two rounds, basically, where it was able to do anything once again. Uh, That was enough. Good job, guys. Uh, Mm -hmm. Good job as you 
are out of combat and we're going to take a quick 10-ish uh, minute break. So at 49, if you want to throw that in chat for me. Yep, I will go ahead and do that. Wrong button. Click initiative. There we go. Clear initiative. Mm -hmm. ta, ta, ta. All right, we will see you guys in a few minutes.
All right. We are back a uh, minute early, mm -hmm. but still. Uh, <gasps> early. Magic Surge Gimbal. All right. Awesome. Do I have the table on this one or not? Let's see. I don't remember what it was called. It was, um, Nimble something. Let's see. I thought it was magic. All right. So as you guys are making your way back in, um, we have some a uh, little magic search action going on. I'm looking to see. I have one. Um, someone went through the trouble of actually making a fancy rounds version of the ten thousand possible, and I do have it. I just don't remember if I actually turned it on in this particular. It's called Random Magical Effects Net Librum. So let me check a couple keywords to see if I have it. Yes, this is it. So where is it? Here it is. So it's actually called Chaos Burst Effects. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So what's going to happen is there we go. All right. So Kendrick, did you get a pop up in the middle of your screen? I am right now. Okay. Starting to come, taking his time. So just click on the button, roll. go. Alright, and then it should There's an error log, but Alright, so it didn't work well for you. Let's try it. Alright, so we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Um, hit uh, slash D-I-E space 1D 10,000. Hit enter. Ten thousand? Yes. All right, and for those of you who don't know this, um, I typically have the player roll one and then I roll one and we see which one works the best. Wow. Um, all right, so I'm, since this is you, Kendrick, I'm going to do this one. I will type it in as it's written and let you run with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so I will let you um, choose to, to play this as you want to. Oh, 
All right, so this okay. thing collapses, and um, sort of uh, as it falls, it sort of dissolves, and, and you see it sort of like calcify, and then turn black, uh, and then sort of collapse like ash into ash, and and then into a pile of ash, uh, and that slowly dissolves and sort of um, actually uh, the Thanos thing. So uh, when Thanos snapped his mm -hmm. fingers, that pretty much what happens is it collapses and then Bro. it goes away and pretty soon. All that's left is this poor goblin who sacrificed his life to save his master's creation. For something that was going to die next turn anyway. I don't feel so good. <laughs> Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. <laughs> uh. Alright, what would I like to do? Uh, Jen's gonna uh, take a good look at uh, that wound that's festering. Uh, you know, probably not a good thing. So she's gonna take a minute to uh, check that out. Also, uh, hi, Ashley. I see that you joined, and I don't think you said anything yet. So, hi. Uh, let me... Are you joining? Do you want me to release Kithri into your hands? I will unhand her. Yeah, you can. Awesome. I'm glad you're feeling better. Mm -hmm. um, and you, again, you don't have the power, but I will happily do so. That is amazing. Oh. I have a button that says release, so I release, I hit it, because I think I'm supposed to, so, um, I guess Sven just has more power than me. All that does is, is it just removes the, uh, hold on, I'm trying to, oh, she's connecting, so it's free, made everything freeze on my end. Anyway, I'm all, sorry. all it does is when you <laughs> kick it, it just, um. I mean, because you can hit the X and it'll close your character sheet, but you're still on the table. So when you release uh -huh. it, it just takes you off the table. You're still in control. It's still your owned by Mantha. Uh -huh. um, I see. So I have to unown it. Well, uh, Mantha's uh, dropping Kithri like the hot potato. She doesn't. I don't want her. I don't want her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So now <laughs> I can reorganize my table now that I only have one character sheet. It's great. <laughs> Actually, all you miss is that we fought a giant demon. Oh boy. A giant fiend. Nasty looking. And I didn't die? That's pretty impressive. I I sorry, I know I already like boasted while I messaged you about it. But I'm so proud of myself for reading your character sheet because you have an ability that lets you make a dex save instead of a con save and you didn't take 50 damage. Oh, goodness. So instead, Gimbal was the only one who took 50 damage. <laughs> Rip. Rest in peace. He got a little healing. He got a little healing from not his regular patron, but from <laughs> Honey Badger Sven in the chat. He's oh, wow. also um, did a action surge, so um, <laughs> or not action surge, uh, magic surge. That's magic that's the word. Awesome. Tusk used action surge earlier, and it confused me. All right. Yes, and so it. Uh... Here, let me see. No, not that. This one. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to go down the line. Uh, Tusk, what are you doing? As uh, Genesis is looking at this wound and sort of like trying to not touch it because it hurts every time she touches it. Um, I guess he'd be moving farther into the room and um, getting a closer look at these other doors just to see if they're like locked unlocked bar or if they're just like regular doors and right. just making room for everyone else to funnel in. Okay, hold on just a second. I'm going to pull aside. Yeah, so it, the way I read it is 
You want someone to bite off two of your fingers. Are you, are you reading it in a different way than I am? Kendrick? Can you hear me? Hello. All right. Well, for some reason, um, let me see if I type to you, if you can hear me. I don't know if you're muted or what's going on. I cannot hear you. Well, I guess I'll just type it. That's weird. Okay. So I'm going to go back, put you back in then. Sweet. All right, it didn't work. Oh, um, can you guys hear me? Hello. Yes. yes. No, I do not hear you. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Um, we lost someone. Uh, Kendrick. Kendrick is still gone. Uh, I put him back in. There we go. Oh, I think he left. Uh, phone tag. All right, I think we're all back. <laughs> yes, we can hear you. To whom are you speaking? Mantha? Hmm? Who were you saying you can hear? You. Okay. I thought you were um, hey, you're back in the regular one. There was that side door thing did not want to work. Everybody. As far as we know, we can hear everybody. Okay. Yeah, well, I couldn't hear Kendrick, and he couldn't hear me, apparently, when we do the sidebar, but I sent him a message, so... Anyway, um... This is what, uh... What? Why? Why? Okay. You guys fought for Ashley's benefit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His very He's large scary. forehead. All right, um, and uh, the smaller head also talks. Gimbal, um, and Crack, are you guys gonna be doing anything? Uh, I don't know. I guess I could. I will not... where Jen left off in the room to just Oop. below me and look okay. through the stuff. Tokens are unlocked. Go ahead and move around. I will nudge Kitri, and in a panic. I will say, quick, bite these fingers off. I'll hold up my hand. What? I will hold up two fingers of my hand and say, I need you to bite these fingers off, quick. Oh. Uh, no, thanks. Uh, she kind of, like, takes a step back. Why should I bite your fingers off? I'd like, I, I I think I would prefer not to, you know? I, I'm not too interested in having any more blood in my mouth than I already do. Oh, shit! Hmm. Oh, shit! Hmm. Uh, oh, shit! Do you, need to, do you need to click an effect here, or does it really matter at this point? Um, no, uh, so it lasts for oh. eight hours or until the action is done. I step forward and I hold my hand up to her face and she feels compelled so yes, to do it. To stumble. Gross. Uh, just the spell of suggestion. So yes, you have to um, give me a strength check, 
Kitri. Just a straight roll, not athletics. Oh, no. Straight, straight. I hate this. No. <laughs> no. Wait, wait. wait. Okay. Not a cog- Maybe that's that's she knows she doesn't want to do this. That's right. So part of her mind does. So, um, and then go ahead and give me a one d four. Goodness. Why? All right. Oh so no. He really uh, needs those fingers. Bite down. Off. And she just uh, takes off three knuckles. Um, as you pull your fingers out, uh, there's it sort of rips some of the skin off, uh, and you have a big gash oh in your two fingers. Uh, but she's yeah. not quite strong enough to. As she sort of gags and chokes because she has a, um, and she's two fingers were jammed into her mouth. Um, oh no. And uh, so Guys. it's an what attempt the heck? was made. You didn't bite them off. The action's not completed. Um, she's gonna keep trying. So I will say at, uh, what, actually it would depend on what you actually said. What was, what was, what is it that you said? What I I suggested to her is that uh, I need her help to rid me of this curse by chopping my, by, by biting my fingers off. I am so disgusted. Yep. All right. So if you actually say off in your suggestion, uh, then yes, you would keep doing it. Um, do so I, this is going to be. Um, do I get to make another save? No. Suggestion no, sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> can anybody stop but her? Is this all too, happening too fast? And uh, give me another. Actually, I'm going to take this away. Boom. Go, boom! So here's that. Why? Why? Why is this happening? Can someone please explain why this is happening? Uh, Gimbal. Oh no! (laughs) So uh, Honey Badger. Honey Badger says, "Talk about finger food." I don't (laughs) want to actually. Thanks. (laughs) <laughs> you rename the party the Donner Party. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, she, I mean, it's a shame like you didn't ask this like crack, the Donner Party is. Who's a dragon? You know. Um, that's yeah, right. it's not it's, uh, random. And she was closest, as it turned out. <sighs> it worked out right. Regrets, regrets for my placement. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, sorry, emotionally scarred for life. Did you did you get the roll and did you did I miss it? The real reason he went to the south there room is. is because he saw a weird gleam in Gimbal's there we go. eye. All right, so that is enough. Oh my god, I hate this. Um, Give me a two d four, please. Uh, are you sure Jen can't use to spell magic on this to stop it? All right, so um. There we go. You snap out of it. Both of you sort of snap out of it. Uh, as you're... Oh! I don't even want to think about... Both uh, staring at What the at hell other. did I just do? <laughs> what did you just compel me to do? She says, spitting fingers out of her mouth, I assume. I... She like, threw them all the way. I felt compelled to compel you? So actually, the real question is, what? which two fingers got this? So, <laughs> Did she succeed, first yes, off? she succeeded. Shit! Okay. But since you're standing right there, um, I will say with... Uh, a healing potion won't do it, but magic, healing magic from... Uh, Divine Source would be able to, since you're right there, you can just attach them. There were clean breaks. It wasn't like they were shattered. Were they, though? Uh, mm, not it's that like clean. It's about the same strength as Binding of Carrot. <laughs> yeah, I know. That is actually untrue. Uh, see, the thing is, is that the human mouth, I, and I get that they're not humans, but the human mouth is so fucking nasty. Like, it's one of the worst <laughs> things that you can have break your skin. So, like, before, I think Jen knows this, so before she, uh, you know, uses Cure Wounds to uh, free attach these fing- fing- fingers, she uses prestidigitation to sanitize it. Okay. 
<laughs> because otherwise you you reattach the limbs and they've got bacteria and blah, 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 blah. So, yes, she's going to use cure wounds to reattach your fucking fingers. Oh <laughs> and I won't even make you roll to see if you get the right ones in the right place. Oh my god, I think she'd be able to help. Tell. I hope she'd be able backwards. to tell. So, yeah, it was <laughs> my index and middle fingers that went. All right, so they're still very sore, um, and you do have a little bit of a um, problem moving those two, bending those two fingers for now, uh, as you put them back together, besides the emotional trauma that was caused by Kithri. Two, two that Kithri. was caused to Kithri. Two Kithri. Two Kithri. She is. She is not. Uh, do you want to roll to see if you're into it? No. 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 In, into it. No. <laughs> Touch it. I, I, okay. Honestly, I don't want to ever think of this again, and I'm pretty sure <laughs> Kit Three does it either. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Well, thanks no. to Honey Badger Sven, a little. I, I am moment. not thankful, believe me. <laughs> That's right. Um, hey guys, uh just uh, uh saying, um you if you if you're hanging around on stream and you have Sven zone particles, uh Honey Badger Sven plays tomorrow. If <laughs> if, right. if you want to get back at him for uh traumatizing you or you know, having your fingers bitten off, he plays tomorrow. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> All right. Well, luckily, um, had your handbag handy. Mm. All right. Uh, you could have said no. You wouldn't have had, didn't have to. I was just saying that would be one way to attach them again. All right. Um, yes. I moved a little <laughs> farther away from Kit 3. Luckily, Excuse he... you! You're the one who cast the spell on me! <laughs> yeah, but I'm not really sure what caused it, so I'm just making a little distance from okay, the woman that just... Okay, if I cast something on you, you would know after the effect was dispelled. <laughs> three, get three, is just... She, she's doing the same thing, she's gonna go hide behind Jen. <laughs> right. You guys did just fight a I'm demon, gonna... so who um... knows, it was probably the demon that did it. Going down yeah, to join Crest. Look at the box. Uh, as uh, oh. Gimbal's walking up, I'm like, no, I will not bite off your <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. I uh, engrossed myself in a very detailed study of the covers of the books in the bookshelf. All right. Jen's so, like, trying to give Kitri some water to wash out her uh, mouth, like, like, gives her some honey to, like, get the taste out. Like, why did she? Why did he do that? That's so weird. And that was the hand that I used to put the rock down that guy's pants too. So I'm just Gross. saying. Why? <laughs> I, I why do you have that. to specify that? I hate why that. Why did you have to I specify? Hate that. No, I had to. No, you didn't. No, you, you really, I really did. did. You really didn't have to. You no. really did have to. I really did. It's a guy thing. <laughs> Fucking nasty. Alright, it's so Wednesday you... night. Okay, wait. What what did you have to do? Did you have to stick your hand in my heart? Well, yeah, there, kind of the, there was a there was a few moments where we were considering oh, it, no. you know, putting it somewhere very safe. <laughs> but I decided oh, that down the front of his pants was enough. Them. Yeah. God right, imagine um... if 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 we if we're like no Oh, inside his pants ain't enough. We gotta go inside. That was <laughs> gross. Imagine right, so explaining Tus this to the people that we brought to, like, go question him. Uh, yeah, so there's this rock. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to be really careful for removing it. We really didn't want him <laughs> to, uh... I mean, preferably, like, he does have to keep breathing, but, uh, do you really need him to move to be able to question him? No, we need to be able to, uh, no, we just need to move him back to the town. 
All right, so let's get I back on track, guys. Um, yeah. with the, uh, <laughs> I'm so task. happy you decided to join us, Kithri. Uh, <laughs> task, there are off. four You're doors. You're perfect timing. <laughs> one of the, the southern door next to Kithri is locked. Um, the other two are... The other three are unlocked. And... Um, Gimbal and Crack, there's the details of what's down below. There's bookshelves, shelves, um, stuff on the desk. Genesis had seen some of this as well. Now that you guys are not in the middle of a fight, uh, have other things going on, um, that is what uh, you guys find out. There's a big map of Nashkel. There are uh, tables and different books. Some of them are out of date. A lot of them are out of date. Um, and you do. The only thing that's of particular interest is that a couple points of the western walls are circled in black ink. So I will, I will roll up that gigantic map and put that in my backpack because that might be something we can take back to town and they can evaluate it and see if it has some specific meaning to them. Okay. Do you have a bag of holding? No, I'll just roll it up or fold it up or whatever I need to do to fit it into my backpack. I will, I can just, do you want, are you going to add it to my inventory? Or do you want me to just put map down on there somewhere? Um, yeah, I'll give it to you here in just a moment. All right. Um, Craig, are you doing anything in particular in that room? Uh, I guess not. If we already got all the info unless there's more stuff on that desk further down that wasn't checked okay so let me give it boom really it's empty i oh, know it's not it just took a while there it is okay um so let me see do you let me do this Do this. Mm. Where's my... All right, do you have... Uh, let me... Where's Gimbal? There he is. Inventory. All right, so if you look in your inventory... You will see a Nashkel area map. Mm -hmm. Are you able to unlock it? I can see what it does, yeah. Are you able to unlock it and uh, manipulate it? I, I can read it. I mean, I don't see a, a map map. Is there supposed to be a map too, or just the... No, for the so description. Right when you open up the open up the description on the top where it says Nashville area map over on the right, next to where you would close it with the X, is there a lock? Yeah, padlock. Okay, are you able to click that? Are you gonna, I, yeah. Yes. Okay, so if you would down below, um, like uh, you can get rid of that whole italicized text. Uh, and just type in, you know, something along the lines of, you know, areas of the Western Wall, circles and black, you can pull that from the thing, or just type in something that clarifies what this is. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Thank you. All right, so I'll leave that to you. And going back to Tusk. All right, so Tusk, as you sort of, half notice this bizarre scenario play out behind you. Mm -hmm. You see that two of the doors are, like I said, one of them is locked. The other three are open. Unlocked. He'll, as K3 walks away from that weird situation, he'll play out. Um, that door is locked and Oddly enough, your weird kinky thing reminded me to 
check this uh, goblin's body and see if he has anything on him. So he'll then check the goblin and see if he had anything on him. <laughs> Kid 3 kicks you in the shins. <laughs> <laughs> so he has a half-eaten apple in a pouch, um, a couple pieces of jerky in there. Uh, Ooh, jerky. And, <laughs> um, but other than that, a small, um, you see a uh, half-empty wineskin on the bottom, on the desk. He had a scimitar, and there are a couple of javelins leaning up against the desk as well. But he himself did not have anything in particular on him. I guess um, uh, he would then go on to probably check where the uh, he saw the goblin was, like the desk area where he, you know, has stuff. He would just, you know, start checking that. Until he hears something from someone else. <laughs> okay. Um, and so I heard starting to check that. What? Uh, uh, sorry, the, the desk. Half, the desk itself. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, Kithri, go ahead and, and roll your slat of hand. See if you can uh, unlock. In the tower? Uh, no, that's, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Wow. So this is a very difficult lock. Um, I rolled a but 31. you are able to... Uh, you realize <laughs> that this is more complicated than you thought, and you take out your third piece, and you know, you're holding the two, and then as you, as you carefully manipulate it... Um, I uh, shudder as I think of, as I'm using my fingers for this very, very precise <laughs> task, and I nearly drop them. <laughs> and uh, But Gross. you are able to unlock it. Um, and so let me remove that shift. The desk <laughs> itself doesn't have, um, you see there is a, a, a wooden square with felt in it that has a skull shaped depression in it that probably held a skull as, as, uh, in sort of toward the back left side of the desk. Um, you see there's writing implements uh, and you see that there's some ink stains on it and things like that. Uh, there's sheets of paper inside. Other than that, uh, there's nothing of interest on the desk itself. It's clear somebody was using it. Okay. Okay. Gimbal was the one with the magic surge, but the real <laughs> victim here was Kithri. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucky for him, he still has those fingers. Yeah, I was going to make it. Uh, it was a 1d10, by the way. And I rolled a 2 just for it. general purposes out there. Um, <laughs> it could have could have gotten a lot worse. <laughs> All right. Um who's left? Uh so let's go back to the bottom room. I'll say that while you guys are searching and opening the lock, um it's about the same amount of time. So, down. Looks like you pretty much exhausted what's below. In, in the room below. And you see that the. If you haven't, you can just go down and look and see that the passageway leads right back to the arena. Okay. Yeah, you're coming back. All right, so the two of them come back into the room. What are you guys doing now up up top? Uh, Jen, after uh, fretting over uh, Kit 3 for a bit, Jen remembers that, oh shit, I'm wounded too. And she's uh, back to uh, taking a look at the wound that is 
uh, festering, because that's not a good thing, medically speaking. It's not good. Uh, yeah, I I I wonder why that crazy. Um, Tusk, I guess, will be heading over to look at this uh, table here in the corner. Um, table has some dice and uh, it's just clearly a small table. Um, has some dice and some um, old cheese bits that, that weren't finished uh, and some bread, pieces of bread and a couple cups on there. Okay, then never mind. And then I wait for Kithri to be done with her task. I oh, that wasn't meant to be hidden, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, it, you took necrotic damage, um, but it does not seem to be diseased or anything else. It's just um, infected, and but you think with a little bit of normal care and cleaning the wound and stuff, it should be fine. Well, that's good. I figured maybe it wasn't going to be something permanent, but you never know. <laughs> it, it's always good to be cautious. Oh, yeah. At this level, you never know what's going to happen. That thing was heckin' strong. Oh, speaking of so witches, I need a d20 from you, Genesis. Ah. Don't forget to mark off your cure that wounds if you didn't, and yes, she Gimbal, did. mark off your suggestion if you didn't. All right. It And um, just for the record, you guys may be marking off your spell slots every single time. Unless I open up your character sheet and look at it, it doesn't tell me. And I forget as a spellcaster because Fantasy Gun doesn't automatically check it off like Starfinder does. So mm. I hope I'm not, I'm not doing it because I, I don't trust you. I'm just doing it when I remember to mention it. To, to, to yeah. remind you to do it that's all um, I totally get you because sometimes I do forget so I do actually appreciate the reminder I more <laughs> saying something in response so that you know that I heard you and I'm listening to you alright so you guys are all in the room together what would you like to do um can you explain what the fuck that was? To whom are you speaking? Um, Gimbal. Um, she is still concerned. Nope. I have no freaking clue. I'm a little freaked. Okay. As for, like, the monster, I also... I'm not completely sure what it was. It was a skull. That was crystal. And then it was that. Hmm. Uh, and Jen's gonna think on it for a minute. D does she have any idea what it was? I know it was, like, a fiend, but I'm, I'm not... I don't know. And she's gonna ruminate on it for a minute. The goblin called it Master. It seemed to know a fair amount about us when I briefly talked to it. Yeah, so Genesis yeah. was in the other room while you were talking to it, so that aspect of some things that you might know you wouldn't. Um, but as far as ruminating on it and stuff, with the roles that you made... Like I said, you don't really have you don't have a means of. I mean, if you had a book of fiends or uh, something along those lines where you could look it up, then I would let you give you more information. But at this point, let me go ahead and do. See, Kithri and Crack and Gimbal might have a little bit more of an idea of what's going on. Although I and does have a small. book of uh, lore of dark rituals, if that is at all uh, relevant. Okay, that is relevant. Yes, absolutely. Um, so while I'm doing this for them, go ahead and uh, give me 
I'll say an investigation check. Um, in the tower. <laughs> She's not good at investigation, but let's see. And let's see. So for you guys, I'm gonna push two rolls to the three of you. And then, and then, what? and then, where'd it go? There it is, boom. All right, so all of you should have to add two rolls plus Genesis through your book. Um, because I can't see uh, what I rolled, can I use my lucky feet to uh, basically just do advantage? Okay, yes. Cool. So, one of the rolls was double the other roll. So, it did make a difference. Wow. All right, so let's see. Gimbal. One and a two, guys. K3. Oh. Crack and Gimbal. Let's see. Oh, nice. Oh, the Arcana. All right, so... And that's Arcana. So the two of you, K3 and Gimbal, you're able to determine um, that this... was a like a sending stone where the the crystal skull so they were when you hold it you're able to communicate with whoever's holding the other stone it was a little bit different in that usually sending stones aren't audible to where everybody can hear it uh, uh, although some of them are but this one um, definitely was because everybody could hear it. Uh, and you also know with the rolls that you made that there was some sort of trigger within the, the skull that caused, uh, that allowed the other person on the other end of this communication to summon, trigger something and summon the creature. So it was, oh. it was a summoned fiend Oh boy! And I'm gonna share that with everybody. Um, it is now it is no longer magical. The skull itself, shell frag, skull fragments are no longer magical. And let's see. So the religion we had one success. All right, and so Genesis, you are able to f to not find this particular type of ritual or um, type of dark magic and stuff, but uh, you know enough that summoning a fiend as powerful as this would require a lot of payment. So it's not just like casting a um, find uh, even the find familiar spell requires payment. In this case, it's ten gold of the different ritual pieces that you're using. Something of this nature would probably require a sacrifice of some kind um, of a living creature of some kind. Um, again, you don't know the details, but it's not something that would just be done. Like a daily thing that you could do, like your normal spells. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah, that okay. does. And the last thing is gimbal with your religion check. Um, so you do know, going back to the meta knowledge, this thing it is called a devourer, and. You know that uh, had one of you died around it, it had the means to 
permanently kill you on the spot and heal itself by d draining your soul. Oh, lovely. Cool. Uh, oh, did so when the goblin died, did it like suck up its soul like a through a straw or something? Like a walking juice box. For lack of a better word, of a, of a better skill. Soul Titan! <laughs> Sun Titan! Actually, you can just roll, it doesn't matter what you roll, because between <clears throat> your perception, your medicine skills, your arcana, stuff like that, you can look at the. the the body of the goblin um, and you th you may not have given a lot of thought at the time because of what your the type of of uh, damage your weapon does and stuff but you do see that it is sort of uh, it is somewhat emaciated it looks like it's been dead for um, almost a year as it's shrunken in and, and things so you, you do you do think this thing did drain something from it. Oh, God. The goblin. Hmm. So, um, I, wow. So I... this thing wasn't the guy who was talking to me. It was something that the guy who was talking to me sent at us. Yes, it, it seems, uh, that whoever was on the other side of the crystal skull or maybe it had something you know within it i don't really know but it allowed them to summon a powerful fiend i, I think it would probably require a sacrifice like hmm. a living sacrifice to be able to summon that which is uh quite strong um huh. it, it looks like, um, and Jen's going to point it out as she realizes, it looks like when the goblin died, it, I mean, you said that it could stuck up souls? It, it looks like it did that to this guy. He does not look freshly dead. Oh, well, I guess it's a good thing we didn't let get a good on us. That was, um, we did something touched it and just didn't move for a while, so good job. Good. I'm so good. good with the magic. I'm so glad that worked. I had no idea if it would. Mm -hmm. How's awesome. everybody doing? I'm doing great. Catherine's not. I'm okay. For sure. <laughs> 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 She's like, I am permanently scarred mentally, <laughs> but like physically, I'm all right. Uh -huh. Well, if you call 29 hit points, all right, but it ain't bloody. <laughs> Damn, look at Tusk, only nine damage. That's heckin' good. He yeah. did use second wind. And healed like ah, he did. five. So, yeah. Yeah. Was... Gimbal looking rough over there. Yeah. I, mean, I was nearly dead five minutes before, I mean, or, you know, an hour ago. We rested for an hour, right? Healed up and I'm all fucked up again. You need to Oof. stop getting hit by area of effect things. I think it's bad for your health. <laughs> You think? <laughs> mm. But I guess um, good to know that whoever was behind this is still out there. Wouldn't want to think that we actually dealt with him and then him to go on doing whatever he wills. Yes, you're right. It seemed like he knew the general, at least. And so we can at least assume that they are on the same side. Yeah, he wasn't really happy with us. He said we're messing up his plans, which... Good. Good, I mean... Yeah, good. 
I don't know. He was, but wasn't talkative. He was very rude. He did not introduce himself. Oh, that's like, a shame. Yeah, I mean, neither did this big guy, but he didn't talk much. Besides, have that yell thing when he blasted us. Anyways, um, I don't know. It would have been nice to talk to I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully we can just find whoever is doing this. Hopefully he's like around, but if you said it was like a magic talking thing, does that mean he could be like nearby or like far away? Usually these things have to be reasonably reasonably close. I mean not like not like miles away. I don't think. I don't know. That fiend was, that magic was pretty powerful. I it wouldn't surprise me if the whole skull was more powerful than you would think. It does bother me that there might be way more going on behind the scenes than we thought there was. Oh, you said the general is still tied up. Was he, like, knocked out, or did you talk to him before? I think I was um, distracted when you guys um, did that. Well, we did kind of kill him, but um, I stabilized him, and we took a break to heal up for a bit, uh, and we ended up taking him back to... You know where we left the soldier that is still uh, recovering from uh, the drugs or whatever they used on him. Uh, we left the general back. Uh, so half the general is still only half dead, so we could possibly he, ask him when he wakes up later. Maybe uh, he knows who he's working for. Dead. Oh, and um, God, Gimbal, Gimbal, uh, put. The you know those rocks that yeah he uh, mentioned that yeah um so that was yeah. gross but effective okay well at least we have someone to hopefully talk to when we you know go back but uh, looks like we have a couple more um doors to check out before that you guys good to press on or um, you need to sit down for a minute Gimbal you look a little rough. Like, a little emaciated. Yeah, I'll just not get into a fight mm. anytime soon. <laughs> Maybe just, like, hide behind everyone and hope there's no one coming from behind us. Good? Sure. Okay. It's, what's the area of effect things that are getting you? It's not like it's somebody stabbing you, either. No, yeah, I'm standing back. I just am still getting thrashed by these... You're doing good, Gimple. Just, uh, I don't know, be better at dodging. <laughs> uh, have I mentioned we're glad to have you back with us? Um, <laughs> um, I hope you still feel the same. That Not like you're, um, dying every time we meet another person. <laughs> I'm coming awful close, yes. The last three battles have been, um, been thrashed by... Or you said area of effects three times in a row. <laughs> um, I'm not is... just little area effects. Area of effects that take 50 to 100 hit points at <laughs> a time. Strong ones. Um, I guess we should um, move on. Uh, Catherine, did you um, unlock that door? I think I heard you messing around with it. I don't remember. Did, uh, so, did you unlock that one door? She'll nod. But she's, like, obviously distracted by something on the floor. Alright, I'll check the door then. And he will go to check the door unless someone stops him. It was this bottom door that he's right next to, right, Sven? Correct. Okay. And Tusk opens the door in this, you know. Yeah. 
quick. Enjoy yourself. I put my diabetic coma mix. I say that again. <laughs> I'm looking for my diabetic coma mix. I have a mixture of candies and nuts and things like that that I put together that is horrendously dangerous to anybody that has diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honey badger's seen it. It's, it's all candy trail mix. <laughs> well, there are nuts. So there it's are not candy. all candy. Some I got, peanuts. I've got honey roasted peanuts, That's right. which could be considered candy. <laughs> the rest of it. Is... So my new, my new mix is a little different because I couldn't find the nerd clusters to add to it. So I've got Mike and Ike peanut butter M and M's, some sort of fruit gel like things from Dollar Store that are really pretty good, mm. and. And then the honey roast peanuts and just regular nerds, which I get toward the end of the mix, I think. <laughs> it's tiny, tiny and they fall to the bottom. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I'm glad you did repeat yourself because at first I heard I poop my trail mix. <laughs> and it's like, wait, I what? I mean, depending on uh, <laughs> just poop it eventually. Just uh, I mean, yeah. depends on how fast it goes through your system. <laughs> that depends largely on how much I eat at once, but yes. Gross. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I see a bed and a candle, I think. All right, and uh, Kit, what is your athletics? Ooh, athletics is zero. Yep. I don't like that he's just asking that out of the blue. Oh, it's not out of the blue. We've been chatting. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Ouch. <laughs> not the that one. So you go to, to try to pull it and something is stuck you're not able to move it at all at Tusk you see a bed um, you see this is a, has a nice um, like, like a chalk drain um, <laughs> yeah you see a, a, a you know like a, a yeah, chalk drawing if I can English uh, a chalk drawing up, posted up on the wall. It's just a landscape of a, of a port. Um, it doesn't look like it's Nashville. It's just a, looks like a, a, you don't recognize if it is from somewhere in particular. Um, you see a nice uh, a bed with nice linen, nice clothes, and a, like a little nightstand next to it. Mm. Okay. Um, he'll go in and he'll go uh, check the nightstand. All right, as you come in, you see there's a small chest uh, in the corner where you uh, across from the nightstand. Nightstand has um, a book on the geography and history of the Sword Coast. Yeah, sounds wordy, but maybe one of the others would like it. Um, AK3, there's a uh, chest in here, um, if you want to come look at it. Um, also, if anyone's interested, there is a book on the geo graffiti of the Sword Coast. AK3 kind of... Geo graffiti, nice. She kind of yings on the lever once more, even though it doesn't do anything. And she's like, fine, but could you come pull this lever? And also, don't step right there. 
and she'll point to um, one of the spaces in front of the door. You know, the one that she's not standing in. Uh, I could give it a try. I, <laughs> I mean, if you want to. Can I mean, we can? I'll, uh, I'll trade you. What's your athletics, Craig? Uh, it's plus... Athletics is plus one. Okay. Click, click. We all gotta try to pull the lever. <laughs> pull the lever, Pull the lever, Gronk! Wrong lever! Wrong uh, lever! I can't it. <laughs> so it seems like something is getting caught as you go to, to pull it. What's your athletics, Tusk? Uh, my athletics is a plus eight, and I'm pretty okay. sure I have advantage. So as you... <laughs> You Everybody go to pull it. To pull. It's a very small. It's only about four inches. Um, it's just a piece of metal sticking by the floor, by the desk. Uh, it looks like if you slid the desk over a little bit, you could even just use your foot to push it. Um, but in this case, it, you're pulling it towards you, uh, and it. You hear something, and it sort of gives. So it's stuck before, and you pull it, and you hear. Behind you, a loud. It's under the floor. Something is sliding under the floor. What? What did that do? In Genesis, you see that part of the floor sort of shakes in front of the door. And Kithri, so you're the the chest is over here. I forgot to add the chest. Um, it is locked. It's hiding. Where? <laughs> oh, right in the corner. Yes. Okay. Well, first I'm gonna check for traps because we already saw that there are traps in this area. Right. And uh, honey and badger said. Oh, yell into the other room. Uh, test the floor with the chair first. I'm not sure if that turned it on or turned it off. <laughs> Uh, and so now that you see, you do Genesis, you also see a very faint outline in different parts of the floor. So it looks like there's probably a pit trap there. But uh, Honey Badger said he heard poop also. He thought he was oversharing. <laughs> <laughs> when we were talking about the Secret candy. tunnel. All right. Um, so go ahead and do... Wrong one. There we go. There we go. No DC. Boom. Damn it. Now that song's stuck in my head. I hope you're happy. Yes, I am. What song is that? It's from uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender. Oh. Secret Tunnel. Oh, Secret Tunnel. Secret Tunnel. Through the mountain. Secret, 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 secret Tunnel. tunnel. <laughs> We were so in sync there. That was <laughs> magnificent. Oh, yeah, no. Like, 10 out of 10 performance could not have been ever top. Legendary. I mean, you, mean, you gotta be careful. So we might get copyrighted. A, this thing is trapped. <laughs> if you tried to unlock it uh, without the key, then um, there's a... Actually, I should take that back. There's a small little section of the on the left, on the side of the chest that you had to depress when you're unlocking it with the key otherwise uh there's a poison that's going to spray at you mm. do you need a third hand maybe and she'll ask tusk like hey did you see a key anywhere on that goblin's person well there was a uh nightstand. I just took, grabbed the book off top of it. Mm -hmm, true. So I'll check the room um, for the key first. Let's see. Gimbal, give me a percentile. I think it was you. I, I could be wrong. But... Did you get it? Didn't look nice. like it went. Very nice. Oh, you did. Yep. So the general had keys on him. That's what uh, Ivan Dor had used to unlock his manacles. 
Um, and he, there were three keys on it. We didn't take his keys. No, he did. Oh, wait. Did. Ivan Dor took the keys. Did he? No. Or he Gimble used has them them and left them. Okay, okay, okay. So I'll say one of you has them. Cool. I think it was probably Gimble that took them from him. Well, Kethry was the one that searched oh, for the multiple weapons. times. Yeah, I know. They it were was on Kethry. They were up by the throne. They were on the up by the throne. Well, I mean, I was the one that was going over there saying, "Let's search around the throne." So that makes sense. So somebody grabbed them. It's not really important, but that's why the percentile was there to see if you know mm -hmm. someone and if you grabbed them. So you guys have them. Um, looking at the keys, so Kethry, you can just quickly out. check and you can <sighs> tell one of them was for this door, the the room, room door. <laughs> I will go over here, and I will, from a distance, without making eye contact, Kithri, toss the keys into the room, and then run back over here. <laughs> okay, I don't know how you're blaming Kithri. I nope, there's, always it's, fails it's, for it's, saves. It's, a, it's, it's an issue you of... You went to the one person that literally always fails con saves. Always. I, like, I am just... I had... It was a random fun. choice, and... I just don't feel emotionally safe around her anymore. I I hope <laughs> he is avoiding her gaze you. because of guilt. Like I hope he feels guilty. <laughs> so um, when, when he comes to the door, the Jen just stands is between for these them. Two doors, and the same key would be for both, and would into the office and into this room. Okay. And then <laughs> the one key was for the manacles, and the third key is for this chest. Okay, well, I'll push the button on the side and use the key to unlock it. All right, you get sprayed with poison. No, that was a double, <laughs> was a double, double trick. <laughs> the, de the depression <laughs> was uh, to activate was it, actually. The trap. That's right. No, okay. Oh, no, nah, it's really just his cologne, but it's so bad that, you know, it might as well be poison. <laughs> All right, so there's a bunch of letters in there on the top. Mm. Like correspondence letters? Oh, yes. Yep. I should read before I ask. <laughs> nice. So that is what's in the details. That's uh, the details of what's in there. Not a whole lot of specifics, but you guys should be able to piece together a lot of what some of this, um, these different things mean. She probably will pass the letters oh. over to Genesis. She wants treasure, <laughs> not information. Well, to Jen, information is treasure, so she will pour <laughs> over those. You do find um, three very neatly stacked, or, or very yeah, very neat neat stacks of coins, platinum pieces, um, and you see a little pouch in there as well. Does the pouch look very suspicious? All pouches look suspicious. True. That's why I'm suspicious. Okay. I mean, think about it, most adventuring parties like that, you know, take the gold off of dead people. Probably are like blood-stained pouches. So it's amazing that any merchant would do business with adventurers. I mean, you can wash blood off. Yeah, I was thinking more like they might be cursed because... We murdered the previous owners, but you know. I mean, valid. Mm -hmm. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe at some point oh, it's I, I uh, necessary to me, install like anti-curse me. measures it's very small. on money when you print your money. Very small pouch. Okay. It looks to be about oh. inch and a half by maybe two and a half fabric. Very small. So if that's suspicious, then yes, it looks suspicious. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> she'll grab it with Mage Hand and see if there's anything uh, in it and maybe dump it out if she can feel uh, it. Looks uh, like there's a boost of healing for Kithri. Stroll, rolling out of it. Mm -hmm. I think Kithri needs a bit of help for the trauma that she has just been incurred, even though Gimbal has <laughs> less health. I think she needs a bit of help. Uh, 
I know it would have been better used on Gimbal, but it's funnier <laughs> if I use it on Kithri. So my frantic round is catching up to me. Um, is investigation... What uh, skill does investigation use? Uh, intelligence. intelligence. That's what I thought. So give me an investigation check, Kithri. Nat <laughs> one we rolled into fourteen. Nice. All right, so you're, you're, you 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 would guess uh, these rubies are worth about three hundred each. Wow, rubies, oh. fancy. So she'll put them back in the bag. And right. you can easily count without even touching that these are there are forty five platinum pieces, very neatly stacked. Mm. They're also clean. They're polished. So they're sparkly. Um, in three rows of 15. Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> what, they don't have 45 platinum pieces just at all times? Like, come on. I mean, Actually, not everyone's eight. rich like us. Okay, I... Yeah, that's true. I I have... I have more than 45 platinum pieces. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have, have zero, just saying. I have nearly Yeah, you have zero that. because you were just a prisoner. Of course you they'd take your money. Well, maybe that's my money you took. True, it might be. We're still gonna I mean, do you also uh, legally own a candle shop, I think? Mm -hmm. so, I haven't uh, been there yet in a while. <laughs> you haven't been there yet? You just haven't so, gone after you inherited it? Or, like, no, I, I haven't been there in a while. Okay. I'm like, I figured that's what he's doing while he's away from the group, is, like, taking care of that stuff. In theory, no, looking for new cons. I, ended up, I ended up coming down here and helping out and getting stuck. Well, I hope you have <laughs> a bank account or something. Hopefully. Which, and you weren't yeah, carrying I, literally everything you own on you? Because that would if be... Only, if only there was a convenient banker's teller stop right here down in the bottom of the underneath the Ashco. Well, I mean, within the city, <laughs> hopefully you have, like, some of your money stored away in a lockbox or, like, in your account so that, like, you're Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Alright, guess we give me a eight-sider. Nice. nice. Alright, so thanks to Mantha8225 <laughs> in the chat. Uh, you get a Boost of healing, so that gives you 10 hit points back. I wonder who this Mantha is. <laughs> it's a mystery. Oh, I only... Okay, wait. Did you heal me or did you hurt me? Heal. Oh, okay. No, I I thought I was at 29 hit points, but I was missing 29 hit right. points. Right, yes. 29 wounds. <laughs> You have 19 wounds. Now. Yeah, that messed me up one time. Like, Did oh, wait, I actually have hurt? one health instead of oh, yeah, like no. 15. I just know yes. it's bad when it's red. <laughs> yeah, like you. Okay. Yeah, no. I'm not sure what it's... she means. Look at Gimbal. <laughs> it's more than half dead. That I used it on Kithri, though. He's mostly okay. dead. Mostly dead. Nearly headless? How can you be nearly headless? <laughs> Alright, so uh, uh, we can go ahead and I can distribute the... It, who wants to grab the rubies or do we want to just sell them? I mean, low-key Kithri kind of wants to take the rubies to the dragon and see if the dragon is interested in trading <laughs> for any magical what? items. Does the dragon has. leave? No, the dragon's still there. She might. I thought be the dragon no said it was gathering and leaving. Hmm. Sorry, what? I I thought the glag dragon told said it was leaving after you talked to it. It was gone. Well, it's got to heal first. <laughs> I think it was planning on staying until it felt a little bit better and then leaving. I could be wrong though. Always check. All right, so this is where we're actually going to leave off. No cliffhanger or anything. Sorry. Um, but uh, this is where we'll pick up in two weeks because next week we're actually no, yeah. doing our monthly campaign under the sea. Under the sea. Under actually, the ground. Know. Like this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so we'll be at, let's see, that is the 13th, Wednesday the 13th. Um, so unfortunately not. Let's Friday. see, boost of healing. So Mantha also helped Gimbal with some weird <laughs> meme. I don't like it. It's creepy. Um, what? I'm gonna, I don't like your meme. I'm going to ban it. Okay, my emote? Um, you don't like my emote? It's like a emote. little guy plotting. Gimbal, like scheming. go ahead and give me a D8. Better not get a 1. No, he's not a plotting. He's doing this with his hands, shaking, rubbing them back and forth. Yeah, like what you do when you're like a evil and like planning stuff. Okay. Ooh, also 10. Plotting. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> so, boom, there we go. Nice. Alright, so... Uh, Mostly dead. <laughs> he's no longer brown, no longer red. So that's that's good. You've no longer it, a red moved it to the green. That's right. Honey Badger <laughs> says he's plotting. Anyway, uh, he's plotting really <laughs> fast. Oh shit! It's a weird thing. Anyway, um, so thank you guys for hanging out with us, Honey Badger Savannah. Mm -hmm. It was great to have you along. Um, glad you participated. Uh, both. All of you who used up your uh, Svenzone particles, appreciate that. That's what they're there for. And uh, nice little bit of, of, of role play, a little trauma, a little action, a little demon Thanks work. for the trauma. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> super appreciate that. Um, so After again, all her mess up backstory stuff, Kithri's going to have to get a therapist for this and not for all the what shit she's already character done. doesn't need a therapist, though. <laughs> let's be honest. That's right. It's a, a new cleric class. Yeah, one let's of these see, days yeah. I need to make a cleric that's just a fucking therapist. Just going around <laughs> healing, like, psychic damage. That kind of stuff. That's right. Does um, Traveling has uh, sets up a little booth, like Lucy. <laughs> the Probably doctor is in, in that, <laughs> five silver for 10 minutes all right so thanks for hanging out guys thanks for for joining us as she mentioned tomorrow we're doing mm -hmm. uh almost the same time it's like 6 45 to 7 i mean to uh, 9 so a little bit shorter session tomorrow night but Come back by, say hi again. You could see Honey Badger's fan, um, Kendrick, Mantha, the three of them are here. So come back, say hi, like, subscribe, whatever else you do. Enjoy the rest of your day. Say goodnight, guys. Good night, guys. Bye. Good night. <laughs>